right, so now let's get to the G words. There's so many G words. Oh, oh my gosh, we're only halfway through, halfway through the, the Christmas words. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, we can do this. Garland. So remember when I taught you about bows? Yeah, it's a piece of tree that we use. That's like a tree branch that we use for decoration. A garland is any decoration we make from the tree branches with the leaves or even just the leaves. And sometimes we can make it with grass or flowers. And it's when we we weave together or make or co connect together to make a decoration. That's called a garland. Like So like we might see um, in many Christmas decorations, like the streets will have garlands above the streets or over the store, the shop windows and doors, and also over the fireplace, if you have a fireplace. You might you might see pictures of garlands, which is, um, you know, branches and leaves and, and maybe flowers that are over something that's called a garland. Now, a wreath, a wreath, I'm probably going to see that in the W, but a wreath is also a garland. But it is put together in a circle. Well, I, I'm probably going to come back to this uh, in a bit. In a bit, sort of like uh, a circle, like a. Anyway, uh, gather. Uh, uh, generations, of course. Christmas dinner, you're going to have, you know, parents, grandparents, and children. Yeah, a uh, ghost of Christmas. Ooh, the ghost of Christmas past and the ghost of Christmas future um, and present. Now, listen. The, the ghost of Christmas is actually from a story, but, but it's not a scary ghost. I mean, it, it is scary, but only to one person in the person in the story. It's not scary to anyone else. So it's not like haunted house. This is not Halloween. It's Christmas. So not scary ghost, but just scary for one person who, des who he He's this guy who kind of a little bit deserves to be scared because he's kind of a mean guy, you know. So it's part of this story. That's actually a really good story. And I'm not going to tell you that story uh, because I don't have time. Uh, gifts, gingerbread. Of course, we could, we use gingerbread to decorate and we eat them. And sometimes we make a gingerbread house and we don't eat those. Oh, my gosh. So many, so many G words. Gold. Yeah, gold, gold, we don't, gold is really not so important except for like decoration, for like decorating our Christmas tree. But it's also part of the old, old, old story, the religious story of Christmas. Yeah. Goodwill. We always talk about having goodwill and sharing goodwill, not just for Christmas. Christmas is a reminder that we should be showing it all year long. But sometimes people forget. Goose, of course, goose is, goose is a little bit like duck. We talked about how duck, sometimes we eat duck for Christmas, and goose is the same thing. We sometimes eat. Gourmet is another Christmas word. Grace, grace is a very old-fashioned, very formal word. And actually, grace is sort of a feeling. It's when you are being very formal and very polite and being very uh, calm, Speaking only when you need to speak and only doing when you need to do, but not out of any kind of boring reason, but because it's part of something very formal and nice to, nice to have. It's a nice feeling. And so grace is that feeling we get when we do all of these calming, important things, formal things, but it's not boring. You're, you feel like you, it is important to have these things. That is, that feeling is called grace. Yeah. Gratitude is just another word for saying, for feeling like you want to say thank you to someone. Gravy. So if you remember our Thanksgiving stream, gravy, very important. Greenery is uh, another word for the decorations you do for Christmas using all of the natural things, the plants and the flowers and that kind of thing. Greetings. We often say greetings to people. 
Grinch is another story, Christmas story. It's it's very similar to the other one I was talking about. That's fun. Groups, groups, of course, and guests. We often have guests. Guests for Christmas come visit us and wish us Merry Christmas and maybe give us gifts. Give us gifts. Remember what I said. Everyone's giving each other gifts for Christmas. It's a nice thing to do. It's a nice way to show, I was thinking about you this year, and I want to give you a gift to show that it, it was true. I did think about you. Yeah. So many G words, and we're only halfway through the Christmas list. <gasps> ah, this might be a very long stream. My gosh. But anyway, um, Merry Christmas. 